everyone, and welcome back, Dr. Carl. What do you have to show us today? Well, Pamela, why don't you look under this cloth and tell everyone what you see? Hmm? What's under there, Pamela? I'm not sure. Look closer. Bed bugs. <gasps> Bed bugs. Aren't they cute? Definitely not. Don't worry, ladies. I see some of you squirming in your chairs. I won't let them get you. I'm going to put one on your arm just to show how truly undetectable these household horrors are. Oh, I'd rather not. Pamela, do you feel anything? <laughs> no, but I can see it, Dr. Carl, and it is climbing up my arm. <laughs> Don't squirm, Pamela. Just stay still. OK, let's get it off now. <laughs> He finds you irresistible. It's a compliment. Well, I'm certainly trying to resist him. I, I think he's trying to bite me. Get it off. It won't hurt, dear. It'll just itch a bit later. Oh, well, I'm not too excited about all the itching. Isn't it amazing, Pamela? You can't feel the bite at all. Tell the audience exactly how it feels. No. You're right. I can't feel it at all. Well, quite lucky, Pamela. You want to know why? You're lucky because you're a woman, a human woman, and not a female of the I bed have variety. bed bugs. I don't feel lucky right now. If you think that bite is bothersome, wait till you hear how these bugs reproduce. Oh. It's called traumatic insemination. Male bed bugs have evolved razor sharp penises that don't need vaginal holes to enter. They just stab right through the abdomen of the female bed bug and they ejaculate directly into the bloodstream. That's horrific. That's just how it is for female bed bugs. And that's time for a commercial break. We'll be back to talk about self care amidst an infestation right after these brief messages. Miss having you. Then it's safe on your colored fabrics. Use it on carpets. OxyClean seeks out organic stains. Pet stains, food stains, they get down into the bed. Oh, no, no, no. Crisis. I like to start with a little self-care. No, <laughs> Pamela, you should start by calling the exterminator. On top of physical discomfort, this ordeal will lead to stress, debt, and isolation. Allow yourself time to prepare for this. Find your center. Find your calm. You should throw away all of your belongings and pack up your clothing and plastic bags. Take a moment to allow yourself to heal emotionally and physically before diving headfirst into bug battle. Well, let's be honest here. You want to talk about practicality? Put everything in bag. <laughs> Can't be advising people to sing Kumbaya and call it a day. The infestation's gonna grow while you're painting your nails. Okay, well no one can be expected to properly solve a problem while they're emotionally and physically broken, okay? They've been raised. Once you close off well. the oxygen to these <laughs> bugs, they will die, and then you can do all of your self cleansing resisting people we will break you need to show yourself love so you can continue to fight with strength and conviction you think the bed bugs are gonna take a rest between their attacks well, I damn hope the female ones do listen you listen to me thank you dr. Carl that's quite enough for our show I'm not done with my segment and now a round of applause for dr. Carl everyone in times of trouble I always turn to my sisters for support. Because we all know what it feels like to be down. So ladies, let's lift each other up. 
You are all deserving of love and care. Every single one of you. You are all beautiful and strong survivors. Rejuvenate yourself and each other with your love. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Doesn't this feel nice, ladies? Give yourself a round of applause right now. Oh, I swear, supporting women is good for your skin. Better than that $50 rejuvenation cream you just bought. <laughs> Go ahead. back tomorrow. <laughs> Good night. Don't let those bed bugs bite.